Well, how do we get how do we get from where we are to where we want to be, and why is it so difficult? Well, I think it's difficult because we have a lousy way of communicating. We communicate with words. Words are small mouth noises. Small mouth noises are a very low-grade channel of communication. What virtual reality holds out is the possibility that we can create a language where we see what we mean. If we could see what we mean, we would have a kind of telepathy. Anyway, the last point I want to make, because I think this is very important, we all talk about psychedelics, the impact on ourselves, the individual experience. But what are they when you look at a million psychedelic trips? What does it do to society? What it does is it dissolves boundaries. It dissolves the ultimate boundary, which is the ultimate fucka, which is ego. Ego is something invented by frightened people 20,000 years ago as a way to suppress women, as a way to suppress sexuality, as a way to suppress the wonder inherent in the world. Psychedelics are catalysts for the human imagination. We were called forth out of monkey existence by the fact that we had strange eating habits. And the consequence of those strange eating habits is now a monkey can dream of transforming its collective soul into a flying saucer. This is the goal that lies ahead at the end of history. History doesn't go on endlessly fluctuating centuries into the future. History is leading toward the transformation of this planet in our lifetime. A cybernetic, biological, psychedelic being, the collectivity not only of humanity but of all life on Earth, is struggling to be born. The entire universe of matter is the womb of mind. And it is the task of human beings to lead the collectivity of humanity out of the labyrinth of matter and into the realm of the imagination. The imagination is where we're all going to live. The imagination is the only place where the human soul is at home. Well, listening to Tim, one thing occurred to me that I wanted to leave with you, and that is what this is all about in political terms is the empowerment of direct experience. We all are sold a bill of goods. Maybe you remember the Bob Dylan song where he says, it is not he or she or them or it that you belong to. This is what psychedelics teach you. We're not going to learn it from Der Spiegel, from Time magazine. It doesn't come like that. Direct experience, your experience, your opinion, your feelings, your sexuality is the only real thing in your universe. Don't transfer loyalty to ideology, to money, to party, to friends. All of these things are outside of the core of your reality. And centuries of programming have been laid on to all of us to take away the power of our own direct experience. This is why psychedelics are illegal. They don't care whether people jump out of windows or any of that. They're not interested in public health. They do not want people to take back their minds. And we're going to take back our minds soon. The sooner the better.